And emotional intelligence is going to be your key to unlocking how to control your emotions. And so if you have control of your emotions, you will understand that no matter how mad you get, no matter how frustrated you are, no matter how pissed at the loan processor, the underwriter, the funder, the notary, the borrower, whatever, that does not change fact. It does not change reality. The only thing that you can control is the replacement of that deal. The only thing that you can control is the discipline of continuous feeding of your pipeline, continuously feed the machine. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the root cause as to why our business slows down. One key thing that I know about sales is that you gotta be consistent. And one of, and this challenge that I'm gonna be covering in this video is gonna be the primary reason why we cannot obtain consistency. Uh, you'll know that you don't have the consistency because your income is a direct reflection of your consistency. So if you've experienced ups and downs, like your income literally feels like it's on a roller coaster, like you're gonna go very high some months, but other months you'll just go very low, and then you'll burn out through your money and then you'll get back into hustle mode again. I want us to pay attention to that important fact because that's actually the reason why we find the motivation, we find that fire and we are able to kind of thrust forward in the, in the direction that we're trying to go. And so again, in this video, I'm gonna cover the primary reason as to why most salesmen, fuck it, I'd rather say all, why all salesmen lose the consistency, lose the momentum. And, and what better time to go over this topic than month end? And month end is gonna be a very good example because this is where we actually feel it the most. And when I'm talking about it, I'm talking about that one thing that is the root cause of us not finding that consistency. So I wanna paint the picture for you because if you could relate, I also want you to comment below. Usually towards month end, naturally we slow down, right? It's just kind of accepted. And in our industry, we kind of accept it because oftentimes what we do is we justify it. We justify it because month end is coming. We only got a couple more days to send out the, you know, the CD or a couple more days to lock or a couple more days to fund. And so then it becomes crunch time. One of the main reasons why salesmen are inconsistent is because they live month to month as opposed to, you know, year by year or quarter by quarter. And the reason why you want to stretch it out a little bit longer is because if you hold yourself month to month, you ultimately open the door for the root cause of inconsistency. And that root cause is you are basically taking over the emotion and letting it relay through towards your future uh, origination. And so let me explain. So usually at month end, what, what do we do? We babysit our files, don't we? We babysit our milestones. We harass and stock our, pro our processors or our operations because we wanna make sure what? We wanna make sure the CD goes out in time. We wanna make sure the notary set up. We wanna make sure the loan doc sign. We wanna make sure the PTFs are in. We wanna make sure that bitch funds in time, right? And so what we do is we take our attention away from the, the lead origination feeding the pipeline and we zero in on the business we already have in play because we justify it. How? Because we convince ourselves that, well, if no one's gonna make it happen, I gotta be the one that makes it happen. And so we'll stock the milestone, we'll stock the process, babysit the process, because we already envision the tiers or we kind of envision the commission amount. And so partly it's not our fault because that's the whole reason why we're in this sales business to begin with, right? It's to maximize profit. But I want to open up an idea to you because if you, if I can at least expose this root cause and, and, and let you understand why it is the root cause, I think it'll be, you'll be able to switch up your mindset just in time for next month and the month after and the month after. And that root cause, I just said it, is mindset. The reason why mindset is the root cause of your consistency is because our mindset can work in mysterious ways, right? So our mindset can allow us to kind of let our foot off the pedal or, you know, kind of ease off the discipline, kind of be a little bit more laxed. Like for example, this month, if you had a strong month, maybe you made the most income you've ever made in your entire life because the market's good, things just happened right, you had a lot of you had a lot of uh, rollover from last month. And so now you're you fucking May, you know what I mean? Like you're Mayweather on your sales floor. So you're undefeated. You got the most sales, the most income. 
And so I want to open up the idea to you that because of that confidence or that mindset, you could allow yourself to go a little bit easy because maybe you made more money than you made before. And so that's where your mindset works against you. However, mindset can also work against you because you are simply carrying over the emotional drag from maybe having a couple deals fall out. Maybe being anxious because your borrower is stalking you because you may not have set up the expectations correctly. Or maybe because you're upset that a, that a deal canceled or notary canceled or notary got lost. Man, <laughs> has that ever happened to you? Comment below. Let me know if these sound familiar because it, if it does, I want you to understand how it affected you. And I also want you to pay attention how it affected your day moving forward. You see, sometimes we forget to look at the root cause and we'll just be focused on the result. So much so that if you do have a file that falls out at the finish line, or if you don't make that tier, or if that one big loan does not fund and rolls over the next month or all in all cancels, imagine how it affects you. It affects you so much that you actually bring it into the rest of your day, or you bring it into your hours of, of origination or your schedule or your production. Now, not only did it cost you that one piece of commission, but it's costing you more because now you're carrying it over to your origination. Now you're impatient on the phone with your new prospect. Your lead doesn't care about your dead, your dead file. Your lead don't care about your rescission. You know what I mean? Like they don't know you. All they're worried about is themselves. But because we have this inner resentment, this inner frustration, this anxiety, we're relaying it without unconsciously, without even knowing it. We're actually doing it to the people coming into us without paying attention to the fact that that could very well be the loan that replaces the one that you just lost. You see, how mindset works works in your favor is by controlling it in a way where you don't react off emotions. Now, emotions are very, very important to understand. And emotional intelligence is gonna be your key to unlocking how to control your emotions. And so if you have control of your emotions, you will understand that no matter how mad you get, no matter how frustrated you are, no matter how pissed at the loan processor, the underwriter, the funder, the notary, the borrower, whatever, that does not change fact, it does not change reality. The only thing that you can control is the replacement of that deal. The only thing that you can control is the discipline of continuous feeding of your pipeline, continuously feed the machine. Because what happens is if you, if you orchestrate your mindset in that way, you'll naturally actually have the confidence whenever a deal falls out or a deal doesn't come through, you're all right with it. You know why? Because you got plenty more in the pipeline working down the line. More so, you're not focused on month to month to month. Like as if, as if after month end, you're not gonna be working or originating no more. Accept that. Accept the fact that, hey, it may not have gone you know, in my favor this month, but guess what? I got a gang of business in my pipeline because I controlled my emotion and I continuously fed my pipeline. I continuously uh, you know, properly managed my, my queue, managed my clients, managed my prospects, provided excellent service. And because of it, I'm getting referrals. I'm getting repeat business. I'm getting new business on the daily. And that is where our focus should be right? Too many times. And if you're, if you're courageous enough to admit, please comment below and let me know. You know, too many times I see a lot of salesmen just ease off the pedal because either they made too much money or because they justified it that it's month end. The titans of this industry, the true powerhouses of this industry, the one that has no worry, has no concern, are the ones that are able to control their emotion mixed with the discipline to consistently stay up on their regimen and consistently do the actions that move the needle. And the actions that really move the needle is the front end. It's the front end because that's what generates the pipeline. That's what builds a pipeline. They go in with purpose and intent, the purpose of actually serving value with the intent to really help. Not the purpose of, hey, let me qualify this person, are they worth my time? And then the intent to sell them because I wanna make a rip. I know it sounds weird, right? It's like, oh man, that's, that sounds soft. I'm not, I'm not soft, D. I'm a closer. I'm a hardcore born salesman. Well, you do you, boo-boo, with your, with your roller coaster income. But I'm gonna tell you how to make it consistent. I'm gonna tell you how to be one of the top paid, if not the top paid salesman on your floor today. And it's packed with inside this video. So 
do me a favor. If this video resonated and it made a lot of sense, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscription, hit the bell so you're notified of any uh, uh, new content that I upload. But I'll also leave a couple links below this video that's gonna route you to the other channels that I'm on, like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Come connect with me, let's grow together. And if you haven't already, there's a link below to my free sales script. It's at salesremaster.com. You wanna get your hands on it. It's packed with value and it's gonna show you the art of emotional intelligence and how to do a flawless outbound and inbound script that's going to melt away the objections. And I even threw in a bonus. It's the perfect realtor script. So if you're out hunting for realtor and purchase business, this is the script for you. It's absolutely free. I just want to remind you, you don't want to use your business email address because it will quarantine my domain. So use your personal email address, the, the primary one that you get on your cell phone, because you probably don't want to print it out. There's a lot of ink that's going to be used to print it out. Use the cell phone so you can view it on your cell phone. Anytime you ever need it, just pull out your cell phone, open it up, and you got it for you. And that definitely will help you earn a couple extra sales if not today this week and this month and the month after so i appreciate you guys time thanks for hanging around with me to learn a little bit of value so that you can get past a lot of these challenges and i hope that you find consistency please comment below with your biggest takeaway share this with the video share this video with someone that really needs to see it and i'll see you guys on the next one bye